This is good electronic music. It progresses, changes, remembers, responds. No one wants to listen to cruel monotony of the generic musicians of the genre who seem to seek a dubious state of trance through laying layers of sound one after another. One wants to follow the music, not get lost in it. Emotion is temporal. It's not an eagerly anticipated moment of excess. The degree of dynamism and tenderness of the song simply baffles me. Ah uh, yes, normie music bad. Hello Redditors of the Internet, Noble Xenon here. And the biggest brains of our time return. Welcome back to our slash I'm very smart part five. Let's get started. This next one was posted by one of my old co-workers from a restaurant I used to work at. Being smarter than everyone gets to be exhausting sometimes, laughing emoji. Ah yes, the laughing emoji truly completes this post. Line up, ladies, for probably one of the most intelligent, eligible bachelors there are. 18 years old, male for female, wealthy, and extremely intelligent, looking for a deserving woman. Posted on r slash forever alone dating. That honestly explains a lot. Hey, I come from a wealthy background living in one of the most expensive areas, the Bay Area, as well as having a lot of money from my background. Besides having a large inheritance, I am naturally gifted with plans to get my college degree years early and working at a big tech company or start up my own, further expanding my career prospects. I hope to have a fortune. I won't sugarcoat it. The guys on this subreddit are not as smart and could not even dream of accomplishing what I have. I I work hard, and there is a reason I have such a strong future. I am looking for a girl who is deserving of my prospects. I want someone who looks good, not overweight, who listens and obeys the male in the relationship. It is a small price to pay for the lifestyle and material you will have access to. Of course, because according to you, women only care about the material things. If you're older than me, it isn't a super big deal, as long as you look good. We can exchange pictures down the road. Feel free to send a DM. Maybe you should use a little bit of your intelligence there to think about why you're forever alone. This next one's titled, Musician Only Goes to School to Prove How Inferior Others Are. Now I'm already seeing the amount of emojis. This thing looks like a copy pasta, but let's see. My 2021 grades are finally in. I got 95 units with a 4.0 GPA, straight A's in math, up through Calculus 2 as a music student, with a new scholarship. Mind blown! How on earth does a white foster kid in America achieve such brilliant academic excellence? I'm only going to school to prove how much more superior-minded I am than other artists who do drugs and are stupid AF. 100. Please separate me from other rappers, okay? Because they are all inferior to me. I'm an entrepreneur, so I don't have to ever get a job working for someone else. I just want to prove how inferior the average human being is to my mathematical genius music mind. So that's why I go to school. And to prove how a foster youth can become self-made from the extreme bottom, I mean like the super bottom, I rub my rare success in the faces of these broke artists who make music about degenerate content. But my music is the most original music not just in the world, but in the universe. Fear me and my intelligent music. It will one day take down the whole industry. For this next one, physical books only exist for people to take pictures of them to post on Twitter, making a conscious choice to not bring math textbooks to the beach. My plan failed. Proof and the art of mathematics. Not my cup of tea for beach reading, but you can read what you want. Just don't brag about it on Twitter, it makes you look insufferable. For this next one, no one understands what it's like to be so smart. Logged on to blind for the first time in a month. Wife does not realize that I'm hyper intelligent. I've been married for a few years and realize now that my wife is simply unable to grasp that I'm an outlier. I doubt if she'll ever be able to understand or accept me as who I really am. That alone would still have been perfectly okay, since most outliers learn to live with being misunderstood by the world in general. 
But what adds to my problems is that when it becomes too complex for her to understand my though process on some very important personal decisions, she tries to simplify the whole thing in her mind as maybe I'm not thinking straight or maybe you're just not thoughing straight. I'm contemplating divorce as I'm beginning to think that solitude would be preferable to being in a misunderstood relationship, although my original thinking before deciding to get married was the opposite. Or maybe you just have problems communicating. By the way, if you're really enjoying the video, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and the little notification bell, but only if you really want to though. For this next one, move over Einstein, we've got a new genius now. I said good day. You can't see common sense, so now we won't see either one's comment. Dude, stop acting like you have 200 IQ, you're probably like 35 arguing about slang. My IQ is 188, I'm 33, and yes, your point? So my intelligence and age have an effect on what language can be? Better yet, you're offering that literal children are better designers of language than those who have learned it and spoken it for decades? Makes no sense. Also, you use emojis, proving you're either Gen Z or some Facebook mom, and I seriously doubt anyone has slept with you. Imagine thinking IQ is an actual measure of intelligence and that anyone who lists their IQ isn't a freaking loser. He just got burned. And now we've got ourselves a big brain individual defending anti-mask Karens. Here we go. It is shocking that YouTube has not taken down your channel. Your fundamental misunderstanding of biostatistics is tantamount to false medical propaganda. As a physician and a scientist, I hope you will forgive me for disagreeing entirely with your puerile understanding of medical comorbidities. Rarely does one find a true genius who so fecklessly refers to others as fufking idiots. It would be fascinating to know your vocation. And now we've got a guy who claims that he never studies math yet is smarter than all his peers. Therefore, the book Outliers is wrong. One star. I am reading this book and there is one thing that really just pisses me off. The fact that Gladwell does not take account for talent and how some people just don't need practice to be successful. Take me for instance. I never study math, yet I'm five years ahead of my peers in mathematics. On the other hand, there are people who study all the time and still manage to not do so well on the SAT. The point I'm trying to make is that success is 99% genetics and 1% hard work. Way to belittle the ones who put in the hard work. It may seem absurd, but in Gladwell's book, he only mentions the successful people who worked the hardest. Statistically speaking, your average musician practiced for at least 10,000 hours. Are they the next Mozart? Or Beethoven? Spelled beat oven, by the way. No, they are just average. On the other hand, there are some musicians top tier in world class who also spent roughly 10,000 hours, but for some reason, they are above average. Hmm, Gladwell just takes his point of view as justification for the reasoning used in his argument, rather than the research behind it. For this next one, this kid just tried to 1v1 someone on the topic of physics in a comment section about rugged smartphones 1v1 me in the theoretical physics lab. I know special relativity. As proof, I will now try to explain it in a way that is so stupidly weird that it can't be from Wikipedia commencing now. You see, idiots challenge each other to 1v1s on Call of Duty. Intellectuals. 1v1 in theoretical physics labs, apparently. If a lamp turns on when it does, do that photons will move in a diagonal line on the space-time grid once a horizontal line is one year, one vertical line is one light year, which is a mot of go light go in one year of its old days, then propel think when it goes fast it would skew, but now we know that wrong. What? I'm completely confused. If particle 1 and particle 2 are born at the same time that impossible, they are same age but at 10 years old, 
particle 2 goes at 70% the speed of light to go to P3 star when the start the times passer graph shifts diagonally to keep light moving the same they go back when Ep1 is 15 for their 15th birthday, the go back and P1 is 17, not 15, but P2 is 15, not 17, and that is from time dilation, and my thumbs hurt, so I stop now. Your thumbs hurt? Well, my brain hurts. What the hell was that supposed to mean? This next one was on a community post about Minecraft IQ. I don't know, but judging by this contest, you've gotten a zero on every IQ test you've ever taken. Excuse me, what? What do you mean? I have had a zero on a couple of tests. The zero just wasn't the only number. 110 and 120 both have zero, though I'm not that sure how accurate free online tests are, so I don't brag with these above average results without being asked about them. Yes, how humble indeed. This next one was on a post about someone maxing Town Hall 9 in Clash of Clans. Literally forever? This literal misuse of semantics amuses me. However, this is a nice accomplishment, especially those hero levels. And I hope you enjoy Town Hall 10. Dude, it's Clash of Clans. It's not that serious. For this next one, dude claims he settled for his wife because he can't find a woman at his level. Who here has been in a mixed intelligence relationship? I'm about 15 to 20 points higher than my wife. There are practically no women at my level, so this is the best I could do, considering her other qualities. Ask him what those other qualities are. She's in the 90th percentile for her sex. Communication is sometimes difficult, but with love and patience, we make it work. This next one's got a bold strategy over on Coffee Meets Bagel. I am kind of an intellectual. Example, if you think that hypothesizing about evolutionary explanations or thinking how to set up incentive structures to get desired outcomes is boring, we probably won't get along, winky face. For this next one, I sent a polite short paragraph as a message and was told by a formerly featured IQ in the top 0.001%, so he must have been accepted into CERN Summer Program Guy, and was told two months ago he'd use all his intelligence to find me an F with me, yet oddly, he hasn't responded since. Hmm, LMFAO, I only read the first sentence. Go ahead and shove this essay in your mom's a-hole, LOL. My job here is done. I got over 5,000 people to laugh. You're a bitter loser. You actually have no life, no other explanation to write this essay. Truly pathetic. You're probably gay or bi, atheist, autist, overweight, depressed, have crippling social anxiety, no friends, no family that cares about you, and 100% a virgin incel. I have many friends. I'm a social god. I'm 6'3 and 190 pounds all muscle. I'm 21 and I've slept with 12 girls. You're a terrible subhuman piece of crap. Little did you know, I'm actually really frickin' intelligent. 0.01%. That extra zero, it was just a troll, I admit, and I will use my intelligence to frickin' find you and F with you. I hate pieces of crap like you with a passion. Where are you though? It's been two months, bout to be three. Where are you? For this next one, we've got ourselves a combination of I am very smart and r slash whoosh. What kind of beer do spiders drink? Bug light. Meanwhile, the life of the party replies, Bad joke. Spiders are not bugs. Only insects of the order Hemiptera, classified as bugs and spiders, aren't even insects. Maybe if you drank fewer beer and spent more time studying, you would know that, but it's your life. And the reply, they eat bugs, you big dumb bee. It's like this guy wanted to be so smart, but just ended up looking real dumb. This next one is so smart, he doesn't even need to go to college anymore. He's too smart for that. Wait, are you serious? This is what you guys learn in computer science and you think this is the hardest thing ever? Holy crap, I don't see a point in going to college now. There's nothing new that I'm gonna learn there. I was doing this stuff at 12 years of age writing compilers. And Boot20 replies, yes, writing compilers is everything computer science. Nothing else, just compilers. 
This next one is so intellectual, he has created an entirely new political system. This guy apparently thinks he can inspire the next revolution. They start us off with a whole bunch of Myers-Briggs spaghetti that I'm not even going to attempt to read. So I'll just skip to the next part. Analytical, logical, hardcore rationalist, loves irony and sarcasm, also loves you. Yes, you. I calculated there's a 10 squared percent probability I'm a disappointment to my whole family, and to myself. I speak English, French, and Japanese just as well. I also speak German and Spanish more than decently. I also speak some Korean, among others. You think too much, my father, and basically everyone else loves anything intellectual, ranging from all kinds of sciences, quantum physics, medicine, mathematics, even social sciences, psychology, sociology, cognitive sciences, finances, economics, political sciences, musical arts and theory, and of course, philosophy, to anything you can imagine is actually intellectual, likes to debate, as long as it stays rational, constructive, and out of any kind of ad hominem. I also love video games, and yes, I know, ad hominem fallacies kind of ruin debates, but something tells me this is the kind of person to try and invalidate the other person's argument because they used a fallacy. Anyway, I invented a new political system, also a new economical theory, also a sociologic theory, also an abstract mathematical theory regarding the angular permanence, also, in other words, I'm a very boring person. Talk to me at your own risk. Only one advantage, I'm a great quote sleep pill. Don't believe me? Well, listen to me for five minutes. Oh, you just did. Sleep well. And never mind about inspiring a revolution, you just made all of us fall asleep, so... No point in continuing this video. I'll just end it right here. Anyway, I'd like to thank all of my patrons, especially Roman Parker, Seth Southwell, Spoonie the Rogue, That Ducking Bug, Benjamins, Misty, Kathy Loves Cats, Catalan Cormendi, Henry G.F. Mickelson, Cole Pollock, and Bacon Cat. You can join in the link below, and thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like. If you have something interesting to say, don't forget to comment. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe and hit the little notification bell. See you guys next time.